Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new speed build. Today, I have a house built in Brightchester for once. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've built anything in Brightchester, and it's student housing, and I am very excited to share this. Um, I feel like I say that in every video. I was going to do like a different intro and not say that I'm very excited to share this build, but then here I am. Um, but I am very excited to share this build because I do really, really like how it turns out. Um, it is a very, very long build and it has no right to be this long, but it's okay. <laughs> if you watch my last video, um, I think I mentioned in that one that probably a lot of my builds and videos are going to be a little bit longer because I have started to get into so much detail in my builds and just having so much fun with them. So you know what, I'm just gonna let it be. I'm not gonna think too much about the time. I'm just gonna like, if, if it's a long video, then so be it. <laughs> I just, again, I personally really like longer videos. Like that has always been my like preferred, um, I was gonna say format, I don't know if that's correct, but like I've always liked longer videos more. Um, I don't know, that might just be me, but you're getting a lot of longer videos. So yeah, I don't know, grab a tea, grab a drink, grab a snack, I don't know, and just chill with me. Or maybe you're doing like what I do and just wash speed bills right before you fall asleep, because that is what I do. I'm, I'm not even kidding, like the last, especially like two weeks, I've literally f fallen asleep to, <laughs> to watching speed bills. <laughs> <laughs> almost every day um it's something just calming about it i don't know why but yeah i find it really relaxing um or you might use this as sort of like a podcast i know a lot of people do that like a lot of people have told me that they kind of use my videos as like podcasts in the background for when they are uh, maybe building in the sims or uh one of my friends i know she listens to my um like video stuff like that when she studies um <laughs> so and i find that like so just adorable and very very wholesome so i don't know maybe you're doing that i i don't know i was gonna say or maybe like out on a walk but like i doubt it because don't walk or drive or be on a bicycle or anything like that and watch your phone at the same time that's very dangerous don't do that um but yeah i don't know no matter what you're doing you're here for a while um but yeah i don't know <laughs> sorry i did not think i was going to talk about that in like the first like two minutes into the video but anyways uh like i said this is student housing and i am so excited to share this because i haven't built in brightchester in such a long time Honestly, I kind of forgot that I made a build in Brightchester last year. Um, I made a cafe and a bookstore, I think it was. Um, I will link it here in the corner so you can watch it if you want to. Um, I honestly forgot I did that. I like totally forgot I did that because I was like, wow, it's been such a long time since I built in Brightchester. I'm, like, I'm gonna go and look in the playlist that I have for Brightchester builds. And I was like, I'm gonna go and look there and see like what exactly like when was the last time I built here and I was like oh yeah right I did that because like I remembered the professor's family home that I did but I totally forgot about the cafe and bookstore um but yeah this is the only like I think this is the third time that I'm building in Brightchester on the channel and that is just insane um I have built in Brightchester like before I started my channel I have built like one student housing that is going to be in my save file um that is on the sort of like the campus of the Brightchester University, um, but then I haven't done anything else. Um, never mind, on stream, like a year ago now, we started something for like um, Foxbury, like student housing. So um, either, I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish that at some point or if I'm gonna, I still haven't finished that, which is insane. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna finish that or start something else, I'm not sure yet. Um, because obviously I have this house here, which is going to be, again, for my save file, of course. Um, and it's on like a 20 by 15 lot, which also like, this is a 20 by 15. Again, the video has no right to be this long. Granted, it's a three story house and it's actually pretty big. Like it's a pretty big house for being such a small lot. Um, but when I built this, I you can see in kind of in the back, background on the lot next to it there's the professor's family home and um the professor's family home was first intended to be for my save file as well but then I built this and this fits so much more into this world and I want the house on that lot to not be an exact like replica of this house but like in the same sort of style and vibe so um I'm going to rebuild that lot. not rebuild that lot but I'm going to do another house for that lot on for my save file instead so um yeah I don't know I don't actually know how I got to this but yeah uh, that house like this professor's family home it's not gonna be my save file anymore um hopefully you guys don't mind too much i do think however that the house i'm going to have
have on that lot is going to be like a professor's family home, just something more in this style. And I have no idea what this, like the house, this house is style wise. That that makes sense, I guess. Um, I have no idea. So if you know, like, let me know down below because I have no idea what type of style this would be. Um, like even what style would be like remotely close to being. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But I think that the house that's going to be like on the other lot, like next to this, is going to be like a professor's family home, or it's going to be, um, what's it called? A another student housing because for this student housing, it's not like a specific like okay right so i didn't want this to be like dorms i wanted this to be like a house that students like i don't know if they own it i feel like it's probably like university owns it and so like the common areas are like a little bit more fancy and it's like decorated for like everyone <laughs> like everyone has been there like that's no matter who lives there like the common spaces like the downstairs basically um like the first floor is like totally just like that's what it, what it's like all the time uh but then the all the rooms for the um students i made them very personalized they had do not have like the same setup of like the desk and the bed and stuff like that like they have all their own setup and all their own furniture so i was thinking that they're probably like it's things that they brought um so i wasn't thinking specifically that these are like dorms and i wasn't thinking that this was like a sorority house or a frat house or anything like that however for my save file i think i'm going to make it so that it is more of a sorority house because if you put student housing you can then put if it has like an affiliation to um the foxbury um university or the brightest university or neither i think you can have one that is like for neither so like no matter which uni you go to you can still live in this house um i'm going to make it so this is for brightchester university because i do put some like brightchester posters and stuff like that and then i think i'm going to also make it because also another thing you can do there is put it so if it's just for uh female students or male students or again neither um and i think i'm going to make it for just female students because when i was decorating the rooms i was thinking that they're more all females um not well i think i'm going to if i'm not sure if i'm going to have students living here already for my save file i think i'm gonna have a few and i think some of them are going to be like non-binary stuff like that so i'm not sure yet if i should make it into like female only or not because it really doesn't matter you can have whoever the same okay right so anytime i decorate a house and i say like oh i intended this to be for like this and this or whatever um you can have whoever like i don't care <laughs> i don't care at all um i i do put a lot of personalities into my house because one it's fun and two most of my houses are going into my save files so i want to have a little bit more personality there but um yeah so i'm not sure yet how i'm going to make it if i'm going to make it into like a not sorority because it's not really a sorority house but you know what i mean so um yeah let me know what you guys think but i have i don't know yet i have i don't know what i'm gonna do but yeah um <laughs> but yes um so again this house is actually like pretty big considering it is on such a small lot and it has six bedrooms and four bathrooms i think um there are one bathroom like a uh, one like smaller bathroom on the first floor uh on the first floor there's also like the kitchen dining room and living room and like some hallways and stuff like that of course um and then on the second floor there are three bedrooms and then one kind of large bathroom which is the one bathroom you will see me decorate uh that is the only one you will see me decorate and then uh on the third floor on the like top floor uh there's again three bedrooms but also like two bathrooms and one of the bathrooms is one that like two of the rooms like share like the only way to access that bathroom is through one of those two rooms um but yeah and i think i think it ends up being really cute i really like this house um i haven't built in barchester in a very long time because i never know like how to build this style um and then i wasn't going off of like one picture from pinterest or anything like that i was um i knew i wanted to build something in barchester again i'm working on my save file i wanted to do something here um so i kind of just like went to pinterest and i think i just searched up like townhouses or something like that and i saw a bunch of them and i kind of just like pulled inspiration from all of them and i really like how this house ends up looking i had so much fun with it um i feel like it's also been a very long time since i did something more like fancier because the interior is a little bit more fancy and it's been a very long time since i did that um not 
any more obviously because I built this but then I also did a um you'll see them in like the next few weeks but I did a museum actually which was really fun um and I can't wait to share that one uh which has this like sort of a sort of similar vibe to this house like they're definitely similar uh but of course that is a museum <laughs> not a student housing and then also I did a Victorian house and I have like a similar vibe there as well um so you're gonna see a few more of those uh in the upcoming weeks which I'm super excited to share those um, but when I built this, it was the first time in a very long time I was able to use a lot of the objects and I was just like so incredibly happy with how this turns out. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you want to download this, you can do it, of course, from my gallery, my gallery ID since the 04. And like I mentioned in my last video, whenever I can get my tray files to work again, it's going to be, um, tray, like the tray files will be linked down below. But, um, until... I can get those to work again they won't be here for a while and i apologize for that but i'm gonna i'm gonna try to make it work soon <laughs> i'm trying my best over here um and this house is fully play tested this house was a nightmare to play test because i'm pretty sure and by the way if you want, decide to download this from the gallery and in the screenshots actually um the way that the house is going to be in the gallery is that it's full playtest that it's totally fine like no matter what you like it, everything should be fine and in the screenshots it's the way that it, it will look when you download it from the gallery so anytime i have to change like a little bit like even move i don't know like a table or a chair like one little like millimeter if i have to do that in the screenshots you will see it like that's the way it will end up end up looking um when you download it for, because i always um like take the screenshots after i play test the house so if you download it from gallery and if you're wondering like oh did she change anything just look at the screenshots and there it is um and uh this house was a nightmare to play test not because anything like didn't work per se because i don't even think i had to move a single thing like i don't think so however I was, <laughs> it was a pain because of the stairs. So my first, okay, right. So first my sim couldn't, like I placed this the downstairs. Everything worked, like the kitchen worked fine. The bathroom worked fine. Like they could lift the fireplace. Like everything worked completely fine. Everything was fine. How many times could I say fine in one, <laughs> like one sentence? I don't know. And then I wanted my sim to go upstairs, obviously, but they couldn't go upstairs. And I was like, wow, like why? And so like, I began to like delete the objects that I thought might be in the way and stuff like that. And like nothing worked. And then I was like, wow, is it because, because, okay, wow. Well, I just said because, because <laughs> like very close to each other. I'm sorry about that. Um, oh, sorry about that. I hit my mic, but like, okay, right. So I... <laughs> And so, um, you'll see when the, what's it called, when I do the stairs, when, not when I do the stairs, I actually think I edited out the uh, hallways upstairs because they took a while, but, uh, for the stairs, basically, I put them, like, next to each other, and because the, um, first floor and the second floor are on the medium wall height, the stairs are longer than they usually are, um, and so when I put them, like, next to each other, I don't know how to describe this, but there was, like, one tile, um, you know when you put up stairs, um, they will obviously like remove the floor from like the stairs so like your sim doesn't hit the head. And I think it's the tile that is like the first tile of the stairs, like downstairs. The tile above that will not be gone. Um, but because of how I placed the stairs, like that obviously was not gone. I'm so bad at explaining this. If this if it doesn't make any sense great if it doesn't i'm very sorry um but basically i put down the stairs there's like the hole for you know so your sims doesn't hit their head um and then <laughs> there was like one tile behind like between the stairs and like the walls and stuff like that so it just looked weird basically what i'm trying to say is was that i did created a room and i deleted that so there was like a one big like hole you will see it in the floor plan screenshots kind of what i mean if you're not getting what i'm saying i'm sorry this is such a bad explanation also i'm like showing you with my hands but you can't see me so i don't understand why i'm doing that but it's me we all know i talk with my hands um but anyways right so i did that and i thought it might have to do with that because there have been glitches about that in the past so i was like wow okay i'm gonna fix that and like i did all this all this stuff and like nothing worked and i, I got so frustrated and then i was like is it the railing maybe it's the railing i don't know why it would be the railing but maybe it is i delete the railing wow my sim can go upstairs great awesome okay great um but it was only the railing on the like first staircase the second staircase was fine so i was like wow this is gonna look a little weird not to have a railing but like it's sort of fine because um there's like a wall kind of i don't know how to explain not actually never mind i don't know it would be fine because i was gonna say there's a wall taking up the sort of like part of the space of the stairs but actually maybe there is i don't know like it wouldn't be as dangerous as if the upstairs um stairs 
Does that make sense? On the stairs on the second floor that didn't have any railing, that would be such a hassle. Like, I, like, Sims can't fall in that way, but, like, if it was me, I'm the clumsiest person alive. We all know this. Like, in my Discord server, which, by the way, you can join if you want to, my role name is Bubble Wrap Human because I need bubble wrap because I... <laughs> I am so freaking clumsy and I fall up and down stairs like all the time so I would definitely like fall and die <laughs> from those stairs if there was no like railing so I was like well okay at least there's only like the downstairs railing right and like I was, I was like okay that's fine I played this the uh second and third floor everything works fine nothing to change at least I think so. And I was like, okay, it's gonna look a little weird, but like, it's fine. I then need my sim, obviously, to go out of the house to so I could take screenshots. This sim can't go downstairs. Like, okay, he, I, he could go like, um, down from like the third floor to the second floor fine but again it was the staircase that was between the first floor and the second floor that did not work and i was like what the hell what is it like the railing is not there anymore like what is going on and I, then i was like okay you know what i'm gonna go in and one by one delete all the objects around this so i could see what it is I delete every single object in inside and I'm like, wow, what is it? why is this not working? And then I was like, oh no, it's the landscaping, isn't it? What did I just say? Isn't it? It's the landscaping, huh? I delete one plant from the landscaping. It works. It works. Totally fine. <laughs> and so I went through that whole ordeal just because one little plant was making it so my sim couldn't go up or down the stairs. And I don't know what was up with the railing of going upstairs, but downstairs, it was the plant. So I had to delete that plant, but that was all. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I went through that whole freaking ordeal because of one little plant. And I don't understand <laughs> like how that could have happened. Thankfully, I was able to like figure it out, but I, I it was such a pain. Cause like normally at this point, I feel like I've been building for such a long time that I kind of know how much space everything needs and like I know kind of what's gonna work and stuff like that. Um, and so I was like, like it doesn't, it happens very rarely now that I need to f like change something when I play test. Maybe again, it might be that I need to like move a chair like one millimeter and like that's it. So I was like, what what is going on? Like, why is this happening? I was so, so freaking mad and I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, am I even gonna be able to have this build up? Because like, and it's fine. Sometimes you can't fix something and it's like, it's sort of okay. Cause it's like, maybe again, like a chair, but like that chair won't, like, it doesn't matter. Like, of, of course, like every chair needs to be, but you know what I mean? Like it would be like something small like that and it would be like, fine. But this is the stairs. Like if your Sims can't go up and down the stairs in a house, then it's, it's gone. And I couldn't like redo the floor plan at that point because like the entire house was furnished. So I was like, what am I gonna do? But then thankfully again, I was able to like fix it, but it was such a pain and I got so much anxiety from it. <laughs> it was such a pain. Um, but yeah, thankfully, it is all fixed. It's it's totally fine now, but it was such a pain. Like, damn. <laughs> it was such a pain. Um, but yeah, that was such a like long story for me to talk about, and I'm very sorry about that, but uh, I just needed to like share my pain with you <laughs> because I was like, okay, right. Again, I think I talked about this before, but like a lot of my friends don't play Sims. I have a few. I have like two that play Sims. Um, or no, okay, I have like other friends that play Sims, but I mean like the friends that I talk to every day, like literally every day, like they're my best friends. Um, like two of them play Sims. Um, and those two I don't even talk to on a daily basis. So like they're not really in that either. And so I couldn't like rant to them about it. So I was like, oh, I just need to rant to someone about this because it's such a pain. Like someone who will understand my struggles. And now here I am, I can talk to you guys about this, but oh, I have, I have, it, it was such a pain. <laughs> But yeah, um, sorry for ranting about that for so long. <laughs> I literally, I'm not even kidding. I just had to take a break, like drink some water and like, you know, calm myself down a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's not much for me to talk about in this house. I feel like when I do the um, the rooms for like all the students, stuff like that, I will talk a little bit more about them and like what I was thinking. Um, but I will uh, mention right now that... <laughs> When I go um, upstairs and start doing some of the rooms and stuff like that, you might notice that the game starts to look a little bit different. Not a lot, but like a little bit. And that's because I, um, if you didn't know, obviously I use Reshade or well, I use G Shade. I have my own uh, G Shade presets if you want to download them. And um, my sour one is the one I like build with all the time. And then I have the sweet one for my screenshots. 
I've talked about this thousands of times at this point, um, but I, uh, <laughs> for my summer one, when I'm in cast and stuff like that, the MXCO, like, which is the shadow and stuff like that, they can be a little bit too harsh and, uh, it can be a little, like, hard to see. Not hard to see, but it can make weird shadows sometimes. So I have a, like, I just, for my own gameplay, or not gameplay, for, for my own game, I made a little bit, like, it's, it's, it's the exact same as my sour one. I just toned down the MXO a little bit. Um, and I had been doing some sims for my save file because I've been doing so many sims for my save file the past um, like week. And so when I was building this, I had made some sims for my save file. And so I had switched that one. And then when I went back into this house, because it looks so similar, I forgot to switch. Um, so you might notice that they're the shadows stuff like that are not as harsh. It doesn't really make a difference. Like I was barely able to see when I was... Um, like editing this video but if you notice it that's why um and then like towards literally towards like the last like two minutes of the video i notice it and i'm like oh dang it <laughs> and so then i i change it back to having the mxeo on um well a stronger mxeo if that makes sense um so yeah sorry about that uh it should be fine though at this point um but i just wanted to mention it in case like you noticed it but yeah that that's all there is um it's st still the same reshade again i just put down the mxo a little bit which also if you want to use my presets um but you have maybe like a lower end uh pc or i i wouldn't recommend maybe using d shade if you're on a laptop depends on what type of laptop if you have a gaming laptop then it should be fine but like if you have a mac maybe don't i don't even know if it works on macbooks <laughs> i have no idea i've never had one um but if you have like a lower end pc or something like that um i would recommend like turning uh either turning the mxco off completely or toning it down because mxco is what makes your like it can make your game lag so much so it even makes like i have a really really good pc um and it even makes like my pc not lag but like it makes my pc louder just mxco so <laughs> if you have problems with it just like um either turn it off completely or like tone it down so just so you're aware i think i mentioned it even in that video and stuff like that and like in the post for the uh, presets and stuff like that like it's, i mentioned it everywhere but i just wanted to mention it again just in case i'm sorry i just have to tell you this uh, before i like continue talking like about random stuff um probably i'm gonna talk about the build i'm not sure yet but anyways um i just i like when i was talking about the last thing i like got a notification on my phone and i like looked at it like briefly and i saw that it was my dad and my family group chats so i was like i might as well like pause and like just look at it in case it's anything like i need to know or something like that right um <laughs> It was just him sending a picture of one of our cats just laying in his lap being very cuddly while he's like folding laundry and that is the most adorable thing like i love cats cats are the best and just like i love that like that's half of our group chat i swear it's just like i'm not even kidding like half the messages between me and my mom and my dad are just pictures of our pets like to my mom and my dad or to, between my mom and me it's a lot of pictures of her dog because when she's at work um <laughs> she just like leaves the dog with me and so like yesterday my dog was with me like sleeping with me like all not all day because i went to bed I'm, my sleeping schedule again is so bad but um i didn't well i didn't go to bed but i um i went to sleep there we go i went to sleep around like 8 um a.m and then i woke up at like 12 a.m or 12 p.m not a.m 12 p.m and during that time because my mom was at work the like the dog which like she's the smaller one we have three dogs uh one golden and then like one that looks like a white german shepherd it's not really that it has like its own breed uh speaking of the dogs anyways and then we have um like a smaller dog and it's the smaller dog and she's like the most i'm not even kidding she's the cuddliest person not person dog alive like she, that she lives her cuddles and i love her so much um and she was just like sleeping with me in my bed <laughs> like uh, during that time i was sleeping and then she was just like with me in my room while i was playing sims and it was just i love her so much um and so between me and my mom it's basically just messages of like her being cute like laying with me and like cuddling with me and then between me and my dad it's like it's a lot of cat photos because me and my dad are like the cat people of the house and then everyone else is like more dog people i am more of a cat person but i do love dogs as well um but like personally i like cats and um we have three cats well okay i say we my family we have two dogs we have the smaller one and then we have the white 
German Shepherd-ish. Um, again, he has his own breed, but like I don't know it in and I almost said Swedish. I do know it in Swedish. I don't know it in English. Um, and then uh, we have two cats, one that is mine and then one is, that is my dad's and then like the dogs are my mom's and my brother's. Uh, but then also, if you didn't know, my aunt and my cousin lives with us um, and they have a dog, again, the golden, and then also a cat, <laughs> the black cat. <laughs> um, so I just call him the black cat because also like he, like, okay, so the, like our cats, um, they live upstairs basically because um, they're not, they're, they're fine with the dogs. Well, not my cat. My my cat, which is a white cat, I love her so much. You might have seen her <laughs> if you're in my Discord server again, or if you follow me on Twitter, stuff like that. I do post some pictures of her sometimes. She's adorable. She, she's the best. Um, but she's like my cat and she is, a, like, we adopted her and when we adopted her, she's a very, like, scared cat. Like, she is kind of scared of everything. When she, like, got here, she was really scared of, like, every single man and I'm very concerned of what happened to her but she's here now she's totally fine and she has like warmed up to like she's fine with my dad and like my um my brother and I, like everything like that so she's she's fine with men now but she was really scared of them when she's got when she got here so she t tends to stay upstairs here with me and my dad uh, because my dad also has his like workspace upstairs so like the cat's just likes being with us more and then the other cat is just like she just can't be bothered with the dogs. She's very, like, chill and very much, like, a... I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to explain her, but, like, she's very, like, chill and, like... I Like, she just wants to, like, live her life, man. She doesn't want to be bothered by the dogs, so she just stays upstairs as well because the only the small dogs are allowed upstairs. Um, and, yeah, anyways, it's hard to explain, but basically i love my pets very much um they're the best so that was it that's what i was talking about i don't even know how i got here <laughs> anyways we have now done one of the um students i almost i keep saying almost like teens bedrooms they're not teens um one of the students bedrooms and now we're doing the second one uh the first one i honestly i'm not even kidding the entire like the, the like the personalities i got for like the students that are living here based them solely off of the beds I'm not even kidding. So like the first room, um, I have, I have, oh my god, I've wanted to use that swatch for that bed for such a long time. It's so pretty. Um, it's a bed that came with uh, high school years, I think, and it's like a teal and pink, but like pastel teal and pink, and then it has like skulls on it. I love that bed spread so much. Like I want that IRL so bad. Um, and I kind of used that, and I kind of went off of that like a little bit more like lighter pastel, like, sort of like feminine. Uh, vibe for that bedroom uh, but again you can have whoever you want living there if you want to change up the decorations you can do that no problem and then the second bedroom we do I went with more of like a green sort of vibe uh, I didn't really think of the student too much by the way the first one I was thinking that they're into art and I was thinking that they're probably I don't know if they have an art degree but they're definitely in the like art society or whatever and then um the <laughs> art society and art club is it a club or is it a society? I, I don't know i have no idea um and then <laughs> can you tell i don't really play the game that much and then uh the second bedroom i wasn't really thinking of much i was just thinking that they're they like green and orange maybe and that was like it um and then the third one i love the third one i think the third bedroom the third bedroom and possibly like the last bedroom are probably my favorites or not my favorites per se but they're the ones that i would like the most because they have a lot of like darker colors and a little bit more of like that vibe and uh this third one i was thinking that they're a gamer um they really like games that's about it basically this is my dream bedroom um <laughs> not, pers not not maybe not my dream bedroom but it's a bedroom I would really like living in because I was thinking that they really like music and they really like um games basically just me um <laughs> basically this is like my bedroom <laughs> if I were a student this is what it would be I also love the bed I used um it's also one from high school years I think I used mostly high school years uh beds for this I think so um and it has this kind of like black and pink theme to it and it's just it's adorable not adorable maybe but I really like it um and yeah again it's probably like where, where i would live <laughs> to be honest it's probably like what i would like um because like i'm not even kidding it's it's exactly what i would like and that's why also like 
though like okay the last bedroom i do has more of like a um i was thinking that that student the last one i do is like a photography student maybe i don't think that's possible but they really into photography um but i used the bed from again high school years where it has this kind of like moon pattern on it and stuff like that which I've talked about this so many times at this point, but it's definitely my vibe. Again, I have a lot of like moon themed things in my room. I have like four tapestries that all have to do with the moon. I have tarot cards in my room. Like I'm, I'm that type of vibe, you know, um, and a lot of fairy lights and stuff like that. And I think you can get what type of person I am now. And then like just a lot of bookshelves and like that's, that's my room. And obviously like my PC setup and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, and for my PC setup, I think I've talked about this before, but like my PC setup is like completely purple so like i have lights behind my monitor even that like purple and then my mouse pad is purple my keyboard is purple my like lights in my pc are purple <laughs> so like everything is just purple um so a vibe between like the the third bedroom that i do and the last bedroom is definitely like that's that's what i would like that is totally my vibe um so yeah and then uh what what's the bedroom i do after this remember this the fourth bedroom <laughs> i know we haven't really moved on to it yet but uh, when we do you're gonna see it and i decided to, to go for another kind of like lighter like kind of feminine vibe for that bedroom um not sure really what that student is into i don't know and then the fifth bedroom the uh next to last bedroom is uh kind of a small bedroom like it's it's definitely the smallest bedroom however they have their own balcony so i was like it's okay that it's small it has it in there <laughs> Like there's the it has oh my god can I speak apparently not it has its own balcony and also a bathroom so I think it's fine um and I was thinking that that student is really like into sports uh, so I put a lot of like sport things and stuff like that so yeah that's kind of just what I was thinking for the students uh not really that fleshed out but you know they're students I I don't know and again I think I might do it so like there's a few like maybe like maybe like three of those students like I've made them for my save files so they live here and then like if you have a sim that you want living here they can live here um but yeah I don't know again let me know what you guys think but uh the reason why I think this video is so long was because I put in a lot of decorations in the bedrooms uh you will see like all their desks are so cluttered up <laughs> it was so fun um but yeah I don't know I had just so much fun with this house I really hope you guys like it. Um, I, once again, do not know what to talk about now. <laughs> I, wait, oh my god, it's been 30 minutes. I've been speaking for 30 minutes without knowing, not knowing what to talk about. This is, wow. I honestly, th these, like, longer voiceovers might, might do some good. Um, but yeah, also, I want to say thank you so much for the love on the last build. It's been insane. Uh, not only has it been getting a lot of love on YouTube, but like my Twitter has been going crazy for it. And I'm just so happy because I absolutely love that house so, so much. It's probably one of my favorite house that, houses that I've ever built. It's, it's so good. I really just love it so much. And I'm so happy you guys do as well. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm so excited to build more in Tartosa, and I've been, like, so inspired to build so much recently, um, and like I mentioned, I have a few, a few videos or builds or whatever, um, like, on its way, of course, as usual, but it's been just so, so much fun, and I've been doing so much, and I've been doing a lot of Sims for again for my save file. I'm really getting into the Sims thing again, but again, I'm also using Sims a lot as a distraction right now. Um, I won't get too much into it because I did in my last video a lot, but um, if you didn't know, I'm currently going through a breakup, and it's really hard, and I've kind of just, like, thrown myself into Sims and just, like, being with my friends a lot, like, to kind of distract myself from it and, like, get happy again, and it is working. Um, still very hard, but... It's, it's, it's getting there and this is definitely helping. I've also, again, been spending so much time with my friends. It's been so much fun. Um, two of them, like, we've been playing a lot of Mario Kart together and a lot of Valorant together, like we always do. Um, but we've been playing a lot of Mario Kart together and it's a lot of fun because we used to do that, uh, before I injured my hand, um like in October and stuff like that like we were playing a lot of Mario Kart back then um but then it was only like three of us because only three of us had switches um but now we have a few more friends in our friend group and stuff like that that have switches as well and so now like sometimes we're even like six people like playing and it's so much fun um and it's just it's so much fun playing Mario Kart with your friends honestly I can't, I can't wait to do it with them like IRL I'm looking forward to that so much uh yeah again we've been playing a lot of Valorant 
like we always do, I feel like at this point I've been talking about Valorant so much, but I do really like that game. Um, and uh, two of my friends as well, that they have been playing Mario, I don't know, like another Mario game, like a regular Mario game, I guess. Um, and <laughs> they're going absolutely crazy. So honestly, I've been working on this build and basically I've just been like listening to them playing that and just like making jokes and stuff like that, like just chilling there and like vibing with them while I'm building and <laughs> it's really fun um or like while I'm making sims and stuff like that and of course I'm listening to my true crime podcast as well but like that's just what I'm doing right now and it's it's so much fun I'm having a really not good time per se <laughs> because again going through a breakup still I very much have depression and stuff like that but it's you know it's getting a little bit better um and yeah I don't know I really I just I'm having a lot of fun and just trying to make the best out of things and again you guys are being like absolutely amazing and so thank you so much everyone um yeah i don't know i just sometimes i just wish i could hug you all but also i wouldn't want to do that per se because i i do like hugs but also i like my personal space like i like hugs from like my family that's about it uh maybe like my close friends but i'm not really like a, a touchy person um not really my thing uh so i would want to give you all hugs but also not because um i like my space uh, <laughs> but you know what i mean like you guys are just best and yeah i've been having a lot of fun with sims so next week you're also hopefully getting two videos i'm not sure though maybe just one we'll see i'm not gonna stress myself too much about it either um i think however no, you are probably going to get two videos because one of them is going to be a community lot and it's not going to be the museum. I know. I know. I built another one. Chalking. Uh, and that one is probably going to be like maybe... <laughs> I haven't started editing that one yet, but I'm hoping that it will be a little bit of a shorter video. I'm not sure yet. Possibly. And then uh, probably another build. I'm not sure which one yet. We'll see. Um, I have a few on backlog again. So yeah. Um, but that's basically it for my rant for today um <laughs> and it's almost the end of the video which is kind of insane honestly anyways that's basically it for this video and i really hope you liked it and don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye